<gasps> Howdy, Inspire Artists! Today, we have a very special video for you guys celebrating Pride Month. Pride Month happens every June and celebrates the impact that the LGBTQ community has had on society worldwide. The acronym LGBTQ stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Queer Community. Pride Month became a tradition after the Stonewall Riots in 1969, where activists stood up against LGBTQ oppressors and fought for their rights to love whoever they love and to express themselves however they pleased. A few major activists from this time were Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, and Stormy DeLarvery. Their impacts on the community and the nation are still notable today, as the LGBTQ community continues to honor their work and fight for their rights. That being said, there are many artists in the LGBTQ community who use their work as a means of self-expression and commentary on the world today. One such artist is Nina Chanel Abney, who we will be learning about today. Nina Chanel Abney was born in Chicago, Illinois in 1982 and lived with her mother, aunt, and grandparents. She was interested in art from a young age, watching cartoons and playing with paint. This led her to major in studio art and computer science at Augustana College in Rock Island, Illinois. She began figuring out her artistic style later on, favoring simple geometric forms over realism. Her art is semi-abstract and focuses on contemporary, or modern, subjects like race, politics, and the queer community. She has done many exhibitions and shows throughout the U.S. too. Her art is meant to be interpreted by the audience and compared to their own lives, rather than having a set-in-stone message. She also works in a variety of mediums, from acrylic paint, to collage, to stencil and spray paint, and even to sculpture. Today, we will be creating a collage inspired by a spinning block slash tic-tac-toe sculpture at her exhibit, Fairgrounds, where attendees could spin these set of blocks to create any person they'd like. The materials you'll need for today's video are scissors, a glue stick, something to color with, I'm using colored pencils, but you can use crayons or markers too, and resource sheets one and two for this video. You can download and print these two sheets right under the video, simply click on the resources tab next to the about tab and download and print the files. Go ahead and pause the video now to do that. And now that we have those all printed out, let's get started. So first, we'll start out with resource sheet number one. I'll go ahead and remove number two for now. We'll use that just a little later. And we are going to take these boxes, and these will be the base colors for our tic-tac-toe uh, people that we're going to make today. So you can choose any colors that you'd like. We'll do three different colors. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do red and maybe green and purple. So I'll go ahead and take my red, I just carefully color inside the lines. And if you want to color darker, you can do a couple layers of the colored pencil, but no worries. I'm just going to keep it with my one and then I'll move on to my green and I'll do the second box. All right, last color, and I'll go ahead and do purple. All righty, and step one is complete. So now that you have your three boxes colored, and you can pause the video if you need to catch up, no worries, but we're just gonna go ahead and set this sheet aside and we'll work on research sheet number two, and that has all the faces and bodies on it. All right, and here's research sheet number two. So this is the fun part, and this is where we're going to get to create our little character. And you can pretty much make anyone you'd like. You can color them any color, you can make someone who looks like you, 
but you can make a friend, you can just make someone totally up, and you can even draw your own face if you'd like. We provided three faces to choose from, three torsos, and three bottom halves um, to choose from, but you can always do your own face as well. So this is where, let's see, we're going to color first because it's easier to color when everything's still connected rather than trying to cut out the tiny little head and then color it because sometimes it makes the paper crinkle and we don't want it to be all wrinkly. So I'm going to choose my head and I think I'm going to do this guy right in the middle and I think I want to color him blue. So choose whichever face you'd like and you can color them any color you want. You can color them like an actual skin color, like a kind of brown, or you could do what Nina Chanel Abney does, and she usually uses fun colors, like blues and greens and pinks for her faces. And just color and stay inside the not dotted line, the straight line that goes around. The dotted lines are just guides for when we're gonna cut these guys out at the end. Awesome, so there he is, our blue fellow. And I think I'd like to give him a pink nose. I think that could be fun. So go ahead and color in the nose. And you can color in the eyes if you'd like. I'm gonna leave mine white. And then I'm going to color in the mouth red. All right, awesome, awesome. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the body. So whichever body you'd like to do, go ahead and choose and then pick a color. I think I'm going to do the one on the far left with his hand on his chest. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him an orange shirt. And I'll just go ahead and color that and stay inside the lines again. Awesome, awesome. And I'm going to color his hand, since his skin is blue on his head, I'm gonna color his hand blue as well. Awesome guys, you guys are doing great. I hope you're having fun following along and making your own awesome person, because now it's time to choose the legs. And I think for my guy, I'm going to give him this cute little short skirt. And I think I'm going to make it, let's do, let's do red. And maybe, maybe I'll give him yellow legs. Maybe he's wearing tights. Oopsies. And if your pencil breaks, no worries. Just go ahead and grab your sharpener and come right back. Alrighty, and I actually got myself a new red pencil because the other one just didn't want to stay sharpened. That's okay, we will make do. And it's a little, little different red, but it'll do the job just fine. Alright, awesome. And then I think I'm going to make his legs yellow like he's wearing some yellow tights. Oh no, and the yellow broke as well. Geez, I'm just not having good luck with these colored pencils today. All right, I'll be right back to sharpen this guy. All right, all sharpened and ready to go. And we're gonna keep filling in those legs. All right, and with that, everything should be colored. And again, if you need to pause the video to catch up, go ahead and do that now. But if you are ready to move on, then we're gonna get to cutting everything out. So I'm just gonna move my pencils off screen. Okay. And I'm gonna grab my scissors. And if you need help cutting out, be sure to ask an adult around the house. I'm sure they'd be happy to help you with this. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with my face. And we always point our scissors away from us. I hope we all know that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut across this dotted line down here, just so I can get to my blue head. 
and then I'm just going to cut along the little dotted lines. And remembering to move the paper instead of the scissors. All right, and there's our little head. I'll just set him to the side and I'm going to go down that same path and I'm going to cut out his torso. So all cut out. Now we just need his legs. I'm gonna go in from this side. Cut them out. And I'm trying to get as few dots in there as possible. The dots are just there as a guide so you don't cut too close to your actual uh, colored in piece. legs are all cut out. Awesome, awesome. So if you'd like, you guys can print out another one of resource sheet number one that has the three squares on it, and you can make three more people if you'd like. Or you could just set this aside and recycle it and do something else later, so no worries. All right, and now that we have our friend all cut out, we're gonna go ahead and take our three boxes and we're gonna glue these guys down. And I'm gonna cut the little dots off this one just a little bit more. throw away that excess. All right, and then again, we're gonna start with this head and we're gonna take our glue stick and we're gonna go just all along the back. You don't need a lot. I just like to go along the edge and down, go on his chin, a little bit in the middle, perfect. And then I'm gonna take his head and place it in the first square. And I'm gonna do the same thing for his torso. Just take the glue, go all around the edge, and then we'll glue him down too. And finally, his awesome legs. And you know what I just realized? If you turn his legs upside down, they totally look like a little basket of McDonald's fries. That's funny. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing and glue those guys down. Oops. And into the last box they go. All right, and put the cap, ooh, did a little dance. Put the cap back on the glue. And with that, we are all done with today's activity. Isn't that awesome? So we created a super cool little tic-tac-toe person, just like Nina Chanel Abney did in her exhibit, Fairgrounds. So I hope you guys enjoyed today, and I hope you learned a lot about Pride Month, and we will be seeing you again real soon. Bye. <laughs>